everyone welcome once again to my channel um hope you're all well so you know i promised in the last video that i was going to show you how to do a 3d flower a very simple um to me i feel it's simple but yeah it could take some practicing to get it right and um, so all you need is your um, 11 inches balloon or it depends on how big you want it to be like in the video i showed you the the, the last video i did and um, where i used it for a centerpiece i used the five inches um latex round so you could use a five inches uh, uh latex you could use 11 inches you could use 16 inches it depends i think it depends on how wide you want it to be so for this video, I am going to be using 11 inches and this is a Super Agate by Qualitex. Um, I like using this for the flowers because then it gives it like, it gives it, it doesn't just give it like plain color, like a normal balloon would give you, but it would give you, you know, um, a swirl of colors. You understand? So that's why I, most of the time when I want to do a 3D flower, I use, if I'm not using a Super Agate, I would use the polka dots balloons you know if i was doing a green kind of um design if i was doing like something like maybe a jungle theme and i wanted to do the 3d flowers i would use the um super agate the green one because then it goes with the theme and all of that so um yeah that's, that's it and um, before i move on please remember to click the subscription button below and comment and tell me what you think um and so also after this video i've got a very good video coming up i'm sure you, a lot of you are gonna love it if you're not following me on instagram please do follow me i'd love to hear from you it's balloons by party heaven on instagram you can email me too if you have any questions or just come in and tell me what you think thank you so let's go uh so i'm gonna start with the the first balloon so what you do is you could use a stick and um, there, there are two different systems you could actually first inflate one of the, the balloons first yeah and then you let out the hair then you put in your so this is a 260 balloon 260 q 260 means it's a uh, um i think it's is it two, two, okay, I think it's 60 inches long, two inches wide. So that is the width is two inches, then the length is 60, 60 inches, I think. I hope I'm right. Uh, yeah, so you put it in. You could use a stick to put it in. Normally I would use a stick. But I already started shooting the video before I remembered I didn't have my stick in front of me and I can't be bothered about posting the video. So you see, you put it in, yeah? And you see, and you make sure then what you do is you hold on to it to the tip of the um, 11 inches. You get your hand pump, you need a hand pump. And then make sure it's in and off. Ensure you do not push the other end in. You know, I, I broke it into halves, into two. For the five inches one, what I did was I cut, it into, I cut it into two, then tied the end of one, then I halved it so that I wouldn't be wasting a full balloon. But because this is going to be bigger, I'm using the full, you know, I'm using the whole 260 cube. So you do this, then you put your, um, so you put the, the balloon pump into the 11 inches balloon first. You inflate it. Okay. So this is for the so the 260 can have space to be inflated into the um, um, into the 11 inches. So while holding the tip of the 11 inches, then you put the. What I do is I just hold the pump to my to myself. Then I push the mount. Of the um, 260Q onto the balloon pump while still holding the 260Q then I hold on to the mouse then I put 
great. Let me see. Okay. You see, it's been inflated. Can you see its, it's shape is there? So I'm going to tie off the mount. Tie it off. Yeah, like so. So I've tied it off. Then you let out the hair. Another thing you could do is you could actually put another. You could, with you could do. You, you could um, if you wanted to do like um, a Mickey Mouse, a shoe or something for like a sculpture, a Mickey Mouse or a Minnie Mouse um, sculpture and all of that. What I would normally do is after putting the two sixty Q into the eleven inches, um, I would put a five inches balloon with the 260q so i would inflate both so it would give you that booty kind of look i hope you get what i mean okay so i think i've over inflated the 260q in this one so what i would normally do is i'll pull out the mount of the 260q I let the hair out, yeah, like that. See, and I'll tie it off because I've popped it. See? See the shape it's given me. But because of the fact that the other ones I've done have this shape, see, they, they just come into different shapes. So what you do is you try and you you know move it around, maneuver it into your desired shape. Um so what I'm going to do is I'm going to inflate this a bit so hopefully it gets to shape. That's the shape I got. So I'm going to like reshape this one a bit just to um, make sure everything. Okay, let's see. I've shaped it, so it's looking like the same thing now, kind of. So you take the next one, do the same thing. The other one like I said earlier it depends on the shape you're going for so the same thing with this one. and then you tie it together tie them all together so I've tied this into three and this into two and then you wrap it around and you see, I'm sure you remember how you saw it in the last video I did so you set, set it put it on the surface Then you take your five inches balloon, wrap it around, 
So this one's just inflated into three inches each. And then you have a cost of five. Then you put it on top of it. So this this process fattens it out. Then you take the nozzle of the 260 cube or one of the nozzle hanging out and they wrap it around the five inches. Make it stable. And then you take um this is another five inches so i've inputted in this into like two inches and then the small one into like just a pump um if you're using the hand pump or if you're using your inflator just a little bit so you wrap it around This is a 3D flower using super agate. See? Make sure you hide the, the mechanics. Make sure your nozzle is not showing whatever you're doing. See? I've got my pretty flower. That's the back. And you can just do the same five inches for the back. If you like if you're going to be showing the back and this can be used in any design any girl birthday design or even an adult you could just use the 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 um the suk bag it could be white flowers it could be you know it could be any color and just add it to any of your designs a balloon arch i put this on balloon arches you know just to add a, an extra wow factor to what i've done you know simple and easy so thank you everyone for watching please remember to subscribe um share and like thank you bye see you next time